Hey guys, how's it going today? Crypto Foxy here. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Um, so, you know, sometimes we find blockchains that are very similar. And why I like VeChain, VeChain is uh, one of those powerhouses that just kind of do their thing in the background. They run as a business. They are, you know, building partnerships. It reminds me uh, in a way of Hedera in terms of, you know, building partnerships and just, you know, not focusing on the price of their their asset. They're, they're looking to basically build their ecosystem. And that's what they've been doing in the background. And things are about to, you know, really take off for VeChain, in my opinion. So let's jump into why um, they've also had a, another massive partnership. And we're going to look at some of the ones that have uh, basically gone on this year. So let's jump into this video. Make sure you guys smash the like button and you're subscribed to my channel as well. And, uh, you know, VeChain is also looking at a breakout pattern. We're going to talk about that as well. Uh, so VeChain has just confirmed another exciting partnership, and that's really the focus of this video. Um, they are partnering with Shanghai Environment Exchange to drive low carbon industry development. Specifically, this alliance is going to help bolster carbon neut neut neutrality by efficiency you, uh, efficiently using VeChain's technology for carbon emission management. Apparently, I can't speak today, but that's okay. So you guys know what I mean, right? You can see what I'm reading anyways here. Um, so this year has been a really good start for VeChain. We've seen v, uh, VeChain Thor has made many milestones as a public blockchain to help create more green-centric space in the industry. They, they've provided blockchain-based carbon management services on a massive global scale, and Shanghai is the next to leverage this technology. So, you know, climate change has, has become more evident and more, more important. And, uh, you know, if there's a way that we can continue to run and do what we do without having the, the massive impact on the environment, then why not, right? Why not look for some, you know, more sustainable solutions to, you know, technology and things that we do every day. And that's basically what VeChain is doing. And I think they're doing a great job, but they're, they're at the very, you know, the, the, first stages throughout the you know pre preliminary stages first right they're not really but they, they are actually still you know making progress but they're putting things in place for these partnerships to basically come to fruition right um v chain thor's annual en energy consumption this is really cool is the same as the energy consumption of one gasoline powered car in the run of a year that is absolutely insane so to run their you know they're basically run their chain their energy consumption same as one car that is uh, actually pretty impressive, in my opinion. So other bullish achievements that they have um, come with as well. They confirmed the official carbon trading patent in the U.S., and not to mention its partnership with Supply at Me for more green blockchain support. And VeChain has also become a crucial voice in the crypto narrative in the U.K., where a representative of the VeChain team um, was present at the U.K. Parliament hearing to discuss a new direction for crypto in the U.K. That's powerful, you know. Blockchain getting invited basically to, well, blockchain basically being talked about in Parliament, that is something to, uh, you know, that is a good feat for them as well. So all this momentum for VET is currently setting up for a, bull, a bullish chart for the VET price. VET price is expected to break soon. And analysts believe that the break will could arrive next week caused by an unfolding four-hour time frame pattern. So let's jump over and look at the price right now. We are sitting at about 3.6 cents. Um, up about two two percent in the last seven days. Let's jump over and look at the month. We are still kind of in this uh, sideways, up and down. You know, it's not really trading. It's it's pretty trading kind of tight. I'll be honest with you. Even though this is a month time frame, I mean, you look at it. This is uh yeah, it's only it's still in the threes. It's not really moving a whole lot up and down, kind of you know back and forth. But uh, you know, down about six percent in the month just because it started up here. We'll look at the year though. I mean, V Chain has come up eighty-five percent in the last year. So let's go down and have a look and see what their all-time high was. All-time high three years ago at twenty-seven cents, and right now we're trading at three. So it, who's to say it's going to get back up to all-time high? But I think that they are definitely putting in the work, and I think that this is going to uh, you know. Be, really beneficial for the VeChain ecosystem. I think that the sustainability idea and the direction that they're taking it is going to be very beneficial. That's what I got for you guys in this video. just want to give you a quick update on the things that are going on with VeChain. I know I haven't done a, uh, a, a I, don't, I don't do enough updates on some of these blockchains that are absolutely just putting in the work. But, uh, you know, once in a while, I'll let you guys know what's going on. Just keep you guys up to date, you know, quick five minute video. So that's what you got. Thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you guys in the next one.